Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Cat Lady. I think I mentioned last time that um, that the game minimized and it like it literally doesn't work after it minimizes. So it was like uh, you're going unresponding to all that progress I had made before. Uh, just kind of like disappeared, so I had to replay it. And I did replay it. Um, I'm adding this intro after I played that game or that section. And yeah, so um, I played it. This is the end of chapter four. I really, I did try to put chapter four into two or er, into one episode, but it didn't work out that way. And that's okay because it was really long. Like this chapter was so much longer than chapter three, and a lot more messed up, might I add. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And here we go. All right, so how did he how die? How did he die? How did Jack die? It was so distant the last few weeks before, before he died. What I didn't know was that he kept looking for something. I don't think he even knew what exactly, but it eventually found him. Or rather, he, found him. There are those forums online, you know, about all sorts of stuff. Fishing, computer games, horses, gambling, addictions, everything really. Accidentally, Jack stumbled upon one about suicide. There's a guy there, calls himself the Eye of Adam. He's a fucking god on that forum. It's like a failed suicide club. People mostly try to help each other and offer support. Sometimes it just helps to know there are others like you. To listen to their stories and, and how they cope with their lives. But the Eye of Adam is an advocate of death. He dwells on human weakness. His job is to plant an idea. To give them a reason to die and tell them how to do it. Once and for good. Jack took the bait. Before he knew he was completely brainwashed. One day, he sat down with me and tried to explain his perfect solution. It was the Romeo and Juliet kind of scenario. We were both to die together in each other's arms. It was supposed to be a quick and foolproof death. There was no chance we would have been saved. All thanks to the Eye of Adam, who created a tool for perfect suicide. He told me it was very simple. All we needed were two easily accessible household chemicals which combined together create gas called hydrogen sulfide that kills you within a couple of minutes. I told him he was fucking nuts, of course, but he just wouldn't give up. He reasoned with me, and he begged, and eventually just kept screaming at me. I figured it was his crazy idea of a modern romance, but it was downright tacky and just wrong. Finally, he said he would get everything ready and wait for me in our special place at dawn. Five in the morning. Don't be late. Those were his last words he said to me. Then he stormed out. I cried for hours, thinking I, I didn't deserve all that from the person I love most in the whole world. A few times I even tried to persuade myself that maybe he was right and I should do it. But I just couldn't. I eventually fell asleep. I didn't plan it. My head was killing me. I was so tired. I woke up suddenly. I could see the sun rising out my window. It was nearly five. In utter panic, I threw myself off the bed and ran out the door. I needed to stop him. I needed to get there before it was too late. But right there in my bedroom, before I even left, Oh. When I arrived at our special place, it was already bright. We used to go there in the past, drink wine, sometimes smoke weed and listen to Pink Floyd, sometimes make love in Jack's car. There wasn't really anything special about that old park lot, but to us there was. It was completely abandoned. It was quiet. It was safe. After that day, I've never gone there again. Oh no, I'm gonna be her. Don't do it, Mitzi. Ah, oh. Jackie Poo. 
I'm here to rescue you. Oh, I thought that was a giant banana. I was like, what is this banana doing? Oh. Stop. Poisonous inflammable gas inside. Oh. I'm so sorry. I think I understand now. There were uh, there were signs on the car windows. How strong is that gas? There were signs on the car windows. Warning signs, yeah. I found on that forum that the Eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental deaths. So we posted this poster design for people to print. It turns out there's a whole sick ideology behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door. And that's not the point. The idea is to die willingly and with clear mind. To prepare for it. To embrace it. Jesus. You'd think the police would investigate the whole thing. It sounds almost like a sect. This guy knows how to hide. The police can't be bothered to make an effort. It took me three months to track him down. Now I'm finally so close. I can almost smell that fucker. I'm so sorry. I think I understand now. I'm so sorry. I think now I understand. He loved you so much. He couldn't bear the thought of living without you. And that guy. The Eye of Adam. I'm not surprised you want to find him. I know I would. I'm not sure if I should believe that you only want to talk to him. But hey, that's none of my business. I wouldn't know what I'd do if this happened to me. Good to know, but I really just want to talk. I want to face Jack's killer and tell him what he's done to me. You know, the funny part is that he actually told me where he lives. He wants to meet me. Would you believe that? How come? Well, this kind of thing he does is called trolling on the internet. It's usually a form of extreme bullying and psychological cruelty. Those who are clever enough say don't feed the troll. Don't talk to them. It, it only makes it worse if you show any interest in them at all. And I have Adam is no exception. He craves attention. He's a hungry troll who wants to devour as many hearts as he can get a hold of. I emailed him and told him I was a massive fan who loves his work. He wouldn't believe me at first. But trolls are always hungry. And I was prepared to serve him a meal fit for a king. What do you mean? I fed him so much bullshit that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. Great. I wish he'd given you his door number though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Sooner or later, I'll find him. Uh, what are those two chemical products? Oh god, Susan. What are those two chemical products? Well, I... I'm not sure if you want to know that. I get it. You don't want to tell me because I'm a fucking suicidal maniac. Is that it? Well, kind of, No, Susan. Ms. Ashworth. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. Maybe to some extent. Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with... Recovering. You've only just come back from the hospital. Whatever it was that made you do it, you proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid ideas. It would be just like what the Eye of Adam does. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean, how could I? Uh, what if I promised you I'll uh, never do it again? I've learned my lesson. Dying is not for me. Those who want to die will always find a way to do it. What if I promise to you I will never do it again? <laughs> you just okay. got done killing or uh, trying to kill yourself. Right. But if you promise... But if you don't keep your promise, Miss Ashworth... Then she'll be dead. I'll find you in hell and kick your lying ass for breaking my already broken heart. You can't kick my ass when I'm dead. I'll soon be dead too, Miss Ashworth. So, yeah, I swear I will do it. I don't think so. You'll go to heaven, you muppet. Oh, oh, it changed on me. The recipe for this deadly cocktail is very simple. Any good housewife <gasps> We're gonna can make, make it. it in the blast. We're gonna make it. Where's Teacup? Teacup, you saved me and now I, I don't even know where you are. Teacup. 
examine. It's what they use for catching cats. I thought these grabbers were banned some time ago. We're gonna take a cat grabber. And we're gonna grab us a man. Oh shit. I was just like, door, press. Bucket, examine, it's an empty bucket. Thank you, Susan. Uh, look at the gun locker, look at the pest control man, look at the room, look at the window. There's a cold draft coming through the broken window. All right. Collecting um, guns may, must be his little passion. I, if only I could reach one of them. But they're all right next to him. He'd wake up for sure. He's fast asleep. Maybe he's drunk or on drugs. Regardless of that, I have no chance in a fight with this guy. He's fast and strong and insane. But he's not the sharpest tool in the box. I will have to use my wits to get rid of him. This must be his private room. Oop. What a charming couple. Hang on, I'll go back. He sits um, here all day playing with his guns while ugly Betty upstairs cooks his food. Alrighty, I'll just let you sleep, sir. In fact, Susan backed out of that room. Uh, not even looking at it. <laughs> the lamp is on. I can't see the switch for it anywhere. The lamp is on. Okay. Clock. It's an old grandfather clock. Looks like it's still working. Yeah, um, <laughs> there's hidden pageant inside. I'll leave it for someone else to discover. I'm in enough trouble already. Oh, I can just leave. Oh. Glass on one side of the window is broken, so that is where the draft is coming through. Inside, I can see my kidnapper fast asleep in the chair. Can I just leave? Search back a van. But the back door is locked. I wonder if there's a spare key somewhere. I bet I can see the le um, he left a phone on the driver's seat. Maybe I could call for help if I got a hold of it somehow. I like how it gives you the option to either leave or kill him. Oh, we're gonna definitely kill him. Apart from the wall is ban um, the part of the wall is badly damaged. He has probably driven his van into it once. Damaged as it is, I can't pull up bricks without just my fingers. All right, that's probably to leave. Let's enter through the front door. I'm glad we can just, you know, come and go as we please. Examine, empty wine bottles, they like to drink. There's nothing like a bottle of red with your medium rare cat steak. Ooh, not kitty cats. This is where she cooks. Dirty pans still stink of an old cat stew. Aww. Poor kitties. <gasps> what if that's what happened to Teacup? They're all terribly blunt. Could be hard or could could hardly function as a weapon, damn. But we'll take it anyway. Oh, there's blood smeared all over it. The door is stuck, but maybe it's for the better. I'm not sure I want to know what's inside. Someone's opening the doors. I'll just I'll just leave. A small painting of a street stall at night. Take. I feel like we're being followed. Well, well. Boxes full of bleach. I suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. This reminds me of something. Tell me, Susan, what does it remind you of? The first thing you need is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. What's going on? Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. That's exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. We've got to check what's going on. Not the cats! Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going out in this fog. 
Fine. I'll go on my own then. Not Teacup, Teacup Junior, Teacup Senior, and Teacup the Fourth. Staircase, ground floor, first floor, one, two. Okay, let's go ground floor. Mailbox. Examine. It's a communal mailbox. It holds all tenants' mail in its separate locked compartments. No mail for Susan. Surprise, surprise. All the other compartments are locked. You know what? Before we go outside and save the cats, I want to see... Oh, I can't. Okay. I was going to say, I want to see what's on the other floors, but I guess I made the mistake of going all the way down. Kitties? Teacup! Why that sound? I don't understand. Oh, here I am. I was like, what? Isn't it not gonna flop over? Bloody fog. Can't see a thing. Where's my cat? Someone could be getting murdered two feet away, and not a soul would notice. Really? But still. It could be worse. At least it's not raining, eh? Susan, get away from him. Always look Stranger on the danger. Right side, they say. Didn't I tell you to and carry I a rape whistle? Do. Not a talkative type, are you? What's your name, sweetheart? It's none of your business. Don't be such a scaredy cat, sweetheart. You're Susan, aren't you? No, it's none of your business. A man had described to me. What you look like, and what, what can I say? It was spot on. What do you want? I'm just here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. And who talked to you, sir? I had a call, you see. There's a cat problem. <gasps> My fucking neighbor. He's dead to crazy me. crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone. A crazy cat lady called Susan. I was told. Now, you ain't gonna like it, sweetheart, but I'm taking you for a ride. Excuse me, sir, but last time I remembered, I was not a cat, and you're a jerk. Uh, it was probably a nice tea towel once a long time ago, now it's just a dirty pl uh, piece of rag. Okay, take. Enter. Oh my god, what's this? Bathtubs? Is this where they wash? This water looks very old, like a mixture of dirt, melted fat, and um, petrol. Lawn mower. What is it doing in the bath? It's all rusted to cover in slime. <gasps> we found the wrong person! Well, well, look what the cat dragged in! Use it! This is a terrible bad weapon. Oh, maybe, maybe I can use the cat grabber. I'm sure I can find a better use for it. Are you kidding me? There's no better use. Use the painting. Okay, uh, bleach your face. Oh God, Susan, I'm sorry. Oh no. I wasn't supposed to do that, was I? Hi, Susan. Welcome back. Does this count as Parasite One or Two and One or Two and Three, or are they just both pair or like one combined Parasite? All I know is our neighbor is going to get shit for this. There's only bedrooms up there. I could, um, I should get, or I should better stick to the ground floor for now. Oh, what about over here? They don't make them like this anymore. All I see is fog. I can never find my way home. Examine. It's old like everything in this house. There's cobwebs and dust all over it. No time for that. Gotta figure out how to get out of here. Ooh. 
Lamp. Nice lamp. <laughs> Nothing happened. It needs a new light bulb. I should uh, look for one or, or round for one. Look around for one. Oh, I had a cloth too. Um, lamp. Switch on. What? You're telling me that they're out of both light bulbs? I mean, let's let's be real. Why can't you just take a light bulb out of one of these, Susan? Oh, I can. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Oh, maybe I can use the... Oh, oh yeah, the cat grabber. Maybe I can use the cat grabber? I don't see why I would be able to, but you never know. Yeah, okay. Let's try the cloth, maybe? Oh, the cloth was the key. Okay. Alrighty. We'll go ahead and put these in. Ta-da! I keep expecting like a face or something to pop up in the dark as soon as we light the light bulb. No? Okay, well, I almost had a heart attack. The books look like they haven't been touched in a long time. Maybe they've been left here by the previous owners. What's that? An old phone book? That could be useful. I'm not sure um, whose phone number to look up for, or look for. It's not like I have any friends that I could call for help. Check phone book anyway. It's from 10 years ago. Still, I don't know what to look for. Um, an old phone. It looks like it's still working. There's a sticker on the number of the base. And, um, okay. Call 911. Call police. Call this number. Call Susan's flat. Hang up. Oh no. No, no, no. Damn it. I can't remember my own number. Really? I've got it written down somewhere at home, but I hardly ever use it. Okay. We can call other numbers. Let's call the police. Emergency line. How can I help you? Oh, this is gonna My be. My name is Susan Ashworth. I've been kidnapped. These people are crazy. They're going to eat me alive. I don't know what to do. Please, you've got to help me. I like this Please. music. It's kind of a beat. And... What's your home address and postcode, ma'am? What does it matter about my? What? It's irrelevant. I've been kidnapped. I'm not there. I'm afraid I need your home address to confirm your identity, Miss Ashworth. We didn't tell you our name. It's flat 412 Cullen Street, EX 4422DL, okay? Now please, do something, for God's sake. Calm down, ma'am. Who's kidnapped the you? The pest, man. I don't know who they are. They didn't tell me their names. What kind of, come, like, no, what kind of police is wait. this? He's an animal control guy drives a white van. He's got a wife. She poured bleach down my face. Bitch. They're, they're just mad. Won't stop at nothing. I'd run away, but there's this fog, and I have no idea where we are. You have been kidnapped by a married couple, is that oh correct? Oh my god, I'm... No, not just any married couple. Don't you understand what I'm saying? These people are fucking serial killers. There's blood and bones everywhere. I mean, some of it is cat's blood, but there's human blood too. I told you, they eat stray cats and dogs, and they eat people. They're sick. They make me sick. 
Is this a case of family disturbance, Mark? Oh my god, just hang what? up the fucking phone. No! Did you know this married couple prior to Are you the not instance? listening to her? She is kidnapped. You Are should be you trying to find her. Related. Jesus, did I say anything at all that would make you think that? Calm down, please. I'm only trying to help you. Then Mark. send somebody I after need me. To establish some facts first before a police car can be dispatched. Look, just track this number and you'll find where I am. You can do that, yeah? They always do it on films. I bet you've got my number displayed on the screen already. Just do me a favor and send a police car, will you? Of course, Mom. Stay on the line. Oh, did you witness cruelty to animals? What? You mentioned cat's blood. Was this married couple cruel to animals? Despite the fact that- If so, I will put you through to animal welfare services for this area. Would you prefer that, ma'am? Are you joking? No, I would not. Okay, please hold the line. I would really prefer that you dispatch a car, sir. Hello? Miss Ashworth, uh, are you still there? Yes. yes, of course I'm still here. According to our records, you've recently discharged yourself from the hospital. Are you currently undergoing treatment for any mental health problems? Oh, you got to be kidding me. No, it's not like that. Really? You're making it Ms. about Ashworth, that? Miss Ashworth, please listen to me very carefully. I can connect you with the on-duty doctor at the RCW Hospital's mental health unit where you received care recently. They can help you. You just have to talk to them and explain what's on your mind. What's on my mind? I'm not fucking crazy. What's on so my mind? That's it. Is that I'm kidnapped? You're just not. And going you're trying to, to send me to animal services. We are not qualified to provide psychiatric help, ma'am. It's best if you contact your doctors. Would you like me to give you their number in case you'd prefer to call them yourself? Oh. Don't bother. I'll take care of it myself. Thanks for nothing. And if Goodbye. you see me on the news, you know why, sir. That was the longest waste of time I have ever done in my life. We're gonna call that number. It's pointless. It must be this phone's number. Oh my god. Alright, Susan. I feel like that was a waste of time. What was the point of that, really? Let's let's think about that. We go all the way over here, looking for a weapon. <gasps> you know what we could do? We can use the bleach on him. Or the knife? Is the bucket used for anything yet? No. Cat grabber? Um, we can use the bleach. Can I, uh, maybe I can use the cat grabber for the gun? I don't know what to do. Oh my god. Oh, what if I pour the bleach in the bucket? Oh. Pour... If only I could talk to Mi um, Mitzi first. Oh, I have to find a way to talk to Mitzi? How? Oh, maybe I can look up my own phone number. Let's try that. I don't want to bore you guys because I'm running around like with my head cut off, but damn. Find Susan's number. My number's here. I better memorize it. It might come in handy. Come on, Mitzi. Answer the phone. Hello? Oh, thank God. 
finally. Mitzi, it's me. I need your help. What's happened? Where are you, Miss Ashworth? I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. I, you have to call the police. I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. What? How did that happen? You only went downstairs to check on the cats. Look, it doesn't matter. I'll explain everything later. These people are maniacs. They're killers. It's either me or them. I have no choice. I've found some bleach. It reminded me of this gas you were talking about. I could get rid of one of them with that gas and get a hold of a gun. You said it was fairly easy. Miss Ashworth, no, you can't. Listen to me. This guy is a fucking murderer. He's nothing but a parasite. No one will miss him. Trust me. I'm, the we're police won't we're be freaking coming to kidnapped. Me. And I could really do with a gun here, you know? I. We're but... freaking kidnapped, and you don't want to tell me. You have to call the police. What's the other chemical, Mitzi? Tell me now. Do you have to call the police? Yes, of course. I will, Miss Ashworth. But wait. What should I tell them? I've been kidnapped. You know where you are? No idea. Out of town? Somewhere? Have you tried talking to the police yourself? Yeah. They think I'm nuts. Shit. What are you going to do then? I'm going to take care of it myself. No one will do it right if you don't do it yourself. I heard someone say once. Oh god. I wish I could do something. Anything. You know, Mitzi's very calm for the situation I'm trying missing. to tell her. Maybe they'll put two and two together and actually take Michael seriously at last. Um, what's the other chemical? What's the other chemical, Mitzi? Tell me! Now! Okay, fine, I'll tell you. It's no rocket science. You just need some pesticide. Pesticide? Didn't you say it is something everyone's got at home? Well, you wouldn't use it. You live in a flat high above the ground. It's for people who own houses. Or, like, mansions? You can pick up these things at any supermarket anyway. Fine. What do I do with it? Just mix bleach and the pesticide together. Make sure there isn't much ventilation. And wear some protection. A gas mask or something, yeah? Well, I'm glad right. that guy just conveniently has bleach. a gas mask. Pesticide. Got it. And a gas mask. Got it? Yep. Thanks. You have to call, please. What's the other chemical? Okay, thanks. Okay. Wish me luck. Thanks. Wish me luck. Be careful, Miss Ashworth. I'll be fine. I'm a tough old girl. This will be like a walk in the park. Oh my god, so many things that we need. I, she didn't even act concerned at all. Like, oh, by the way, we've been kidnapped. Oh, really? Well, shit. Like, my reaction's like, oh my fucking god, let me find some, or let me call somebody, let me figure out something. No, it's just, oh, shit. Imagine that. You've been kidnapped. Okay, so there's that. Um, it's the draft is going through here. Okay. okay. Can I put the painting in front of it? Oh my god, that actually... That's actually what I'm supposed to do? I didn't even... Oh god, I am good at this game. Open door. It's locked. Uh, use this dull-ass blade to unlock it. No, it's not a weapon. Just slide it in the lock, Susie. Oh my god, I have to go find a key? Well, let's examine it. We'll see what it said again. I, I'm almost glad I was unconscious when you brought me here through the window. I can see there's animal mess and blood everywhere. But the back door is locked. I wonder if I can find a, sp a spare key. A spare key. I need to find a spare key, guys. Where the hell would I find a spare key? Inside the clock. I'm kidding, but... You never know. Here, spare key. Oh, I never looked at the cooker. This is. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Just kidding. Okie dokie. This is taking a lot longer than chapter two. Damn. Examine. Filthy things remain. Or. Or. Filthy remains of many meals littered the dining table. There's a stench, strong stench of rotten food. I don't need to hide at the moment. Oh, I have to do a hiding game from this girl? Why can't I just shoot her with a gun? Damn. Oh, bleach. That was the bleach. Oh, 
Um, look closer. Exam bathtub. Examine corpses. Take. Key. Oh, there's a key there. Oh God. Um, remove the bath lug. There's no way I'm putting my hand in that water. Okay. Take key. There's no way I'm putting my hand in the water. To get the key, I would have to touch this person too. I've seen many dead bodies in my life, but this is the one definitely the creepiest of them all. Okay. The water is absolutely disgusting, and the smell alone makes it, uh, me rich. Okie dokie. Let's use the cat grabber. Oh, look at that. Alright, let's go. I'm glad that, you know, they're just taking a nap and uh, eating food and cooking or whatever the hell she's doing back there. I don't even want to know. Why would he keep this key in that bathtub? Jesus, what a horrible stench. What's this? It seems like the idiot leaves. Does everything his creepy wife from hell tells him to. He brought his gas mask here. I'll take it. He doesn't need it ever again when I'm done here. The door is locked, but I can see that he left the phone. Uh, maybe I can call for help. Do I not have the key anymore? I do not. Okay. Did you just leave the key in the door, Susan? Alright, well, where am I supposed to get pesticides from? Maybe under a sink? Is there like an under a sink option? No. Maybe it's not stairs in the cellar. I don't know. Alright guys, I took a little break, um, like two days worth of a break actually, because I couldn't figure out what to do next and I kind of, I have a general idea of what to do because I, there was that brick outside of the house they were talking about. And I'm like, oh, well, you know what? There has to be something. So I think I, I already went through the house. I didn't, f I don't see any more like tools or whatever, anything I can click on. So I'm thinking that I can, I can use something I already have to get that brick off. And hopefully I can use that brick to like knock out that crazy nurse lady. Um, I apologize again if you hear like jingling and stuff in the background. Uh, this mic is supposed to like, you know, take that noise out, but in case you still hear it. This kitten is very loud and very playful, which is not bad. It's just bad for video making stuff, but I would never replace her. Anyways, um, let's see. Uh, I took a two-day break. I said that already. Oh, the, the thing's over here. Oh, what if I use that stupid knife that I can't use as a weapon? <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that's great. Okay, um, now I can use this to... to break open that van window. No, no, probably not. You know, I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna try. I don't see why if you had the keys to the back of the van, why you couldn't, why you couldn't just unlock. I mean, I can't see this brick working because, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Wouldn't someone hear that? No keys to the mission. I'll have to find another way. Take the mobile phone. Alright, well I already called for her help. Was that like a second way to call for help? Make phone call. Oh, she's, th that, that number, that number I think is their house number. Okay, um. Um, can I go up there? No? Okay, anyways, um, like I was trying to say, I heard that, um. Um, there is no release date for Life is Strange yet. Um, as I'm playing this game, it is the 11th, I think. So, oh, I guess I was like, oh my god, she heard something. It's the 11th today, so um, chances are it's not going to be released on the 14th, which is Tuesday. Uh, that is my speculation. There's been, like, they, they usually said it'll take them six to eight weeks to put out the next one. But as far as, like, I'm seeing... That's not gonna happen. Like, they're gonna, not gonna make their date. The only way I can see if they're making their date is if they're literally gonna be like, oh, well, um, by the way, <laughs> it releases tomorrow. Like, they might do that, but other than that, I can't see them do anything. Table, I get under. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. 
Make phone call. Okay, Susie. Susie, table. Get under. Go, 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 go. <gasps> that worked? Oh my god, that worked? Oh my god. Lady, you really need to get that looked at. Like, seek medical attention. Something, because damn. Okay, Susie. Susie. Let's run. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what's in that shed. Find a butcher knife or something. Can I run? No, I can't run. What's in here? What's in here? <gasps> the pesticide! Oh, thank god. Nothing else is in here? No? Okay. Okay. Well, come on, Susie. I am so nervous right now. We have to get back onto that table before she goes back into that shed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am so scared. I am so scared. Get under it. Get under it. Come on, Susie. Ha! Ha! In your face, deranged nurse lady who is way too tall for that door. You just keep walking. Or limping. Or... I don't even know what you're doing. No one should walk like that. Seek help. <gasps> We're going to make some... We're gonna make some gas and kill people. Mwahahaha. <laughs> like, revenge is gonna be so great right now. I'm sorry, Susie, that you had to be put through this. Like, everyone in the comments was like, Oh my god, I feel so, so, so bad for Susan. I'm like, I know. But we're gonna get revenge, and that's what's important. Oh, speaking of comments, they're disappearing again. I'm gonna do my best to try to tag you guys all in and put back the comments. Like, by me just posting them. But other than that, that's the only thing I can think of to do. Otherwise, you know, Twitter. But I don't usually use Twitter. Uh, okay, let's, let's make this concoction. A cocktail, if you will. I don't want to poison myself. Oh, I guess you don't want to die right now, do you? Gas mask, got it. At least she's smart. I would have been like, poured, ha <laughs> And then wonder why I'm di dead later. Not, no, not here. Why? Oh, I wasn't close enough. To the bucket. It won't be long now, sir. Wait, why are you- Oh, he's, he's joking. I was like, why are you getting up? Why did you wake up? Haha. <laughs> oh god, it scared the shit out of me. Oh, look at this. Now I have a gun. F you, sir. We're gonna go shoot your pretty little- Okay, she's not that pretty. We're going after your wife. She'll regret the day that she ever poured bleach on our faces. Yes, we have more than one face. I like this music. I like the way it turned. It concerns me that Susan's like tall, almost as tall as all the doors. Surprise, honey, we're home. Honey? Honey? Okie dokie. Oh shit! Shoot her, Susie! Hold... Oh, trigger. Oh! Ha! Revenge! Revenge, bitch! Do you know what I've seen? I really like the music in this game. Do you know where I've been? I've been for the broken machine. That is so creepy. Okay, Susan has to be the most, like, unluckiest person ever. Not only did she try to take her life, but after that, her psychiatrist tries to kill- or does kill her, and she comes back and kills him. And then these guys kill her, or try to kill her. Like, she's just so unlucky. Chapter 5 Some flowers never been towards the sun. Now this chapter has been long enough. I'm going to end it after they do like the little intro thing. Miss Ashworth, I was worried sick about you. Well, someone had to be. Damn. Are you I was all right? Kidnapped. How did you get back? I walked. I walked. Oh, she did walk. Okay. Are you 
You saw something terrible in that fog, didn't you? I saw a monster. I was kidnapped, Minsky. Minsky? Not like the pizza. <laughs> Mitzi. Oh, God. I'm just going to call her Minsky from now on. I saw the monster. Why is it? Oh, I guess she's apartment floor. Four? Floor? She's apartment floor, guys. I can talk. I promise. Anyways, no. I'm going to go ahead and save this game. Okay, we're saved. We're game saved. I did not forget to save this time. I've learned my lesson about trying to, like, not... Because before I was trying to exit before the chapter ended, or not before the chapter ended, before the chapter began, so that you guys didn't see anything, it was a complete surprise, and then I realized that you can't save between that time and the last time. So I have learned my lesson to go just go through the cutscenes in the beginning of the chapters. Anyways, if you like this video, press that like button. If you want to watch more of my videos, press that subscribe button. Comments if you can. If you can't, let me know. I always receive emails about comments. So I will start reposting them if I have to. I'll, I'll do what I can. I'll do what I can. Just so that you guys can be heard and have a voice. Oh, YouTube, why? Just why? Anyways, guys, I will talk at you later. Bye!